So today I'm going to show you how to recharge your AC. For the tools you need for this job is R134A refrigerant and a PSI gauge. You can usually buy the PSI gauge and it comes with the refrigerant. Sometimes you can buy it separately. Um, once you use up the can, if you use up the can, you can always reuse the gauge. So it comes in handy. Okay, before I show you how to properly do this, I'm going to give you a little quick tip. A history about this now people confuse this with R12 but more commonly they confuse it with Freon this is not Freon they stopped making Freon on 1993 vehicles that was the last line of vehicles that they made Freon the reason why is because Freon is um, environmental unfriendly <clears throat> it's the police to ozone layer and whatnot so that's why they made R134A instead so now cars from 1993 and up is R134A not Freon not R12 so when you go to your local auto parts stores and you go in inside and you ask for Freon don't do it because they're just gonna look at you like you have three heads <clears throat> just don't do it just say do you have R134A they know what you're talking about let's begin You'll connect your PSI gauge to an AC service port. This is the low pressure AC service port and this is the high pressure AC service port. Now you want to connect this to the low pressure. Now each fitting is different. So even if you think you're going to do it wrong, you can't because this will connect to this easily. If you want to connect it to the high pressure, you can't because this is too big. So you can't go wrong. It's error proof. This only connects to this. Now once you connect it, it will look like this on the red. That means the engine is off. Um, you'll see this dial right here. This dial with these little numbers here, it will indicate the current temperature. So right now, I'm in Florida and it's like 101 degrees so I'll keep it right here when you put on the vehicle and the compressor starts running and if this arrow goes to the white that means it's low on recharge and you need to recharge it if it's somewhere right here and the temperature it's up here and it's somewhere below it that means it needs a little recharge so I'm gonna keep it right here because that's what the current temperature is outside and I'm gonna start the car so go ahead and start up the car make sure it's on full cold make sure this is on max AC and make sure it's all the way on full full blast and let it run for like two three minutes so do you see the the middle dial with the arrow pointing to the current temperature and you see where the black hand is at it's not matching up that means that I'm a little bit low. Now for other people, it'll probably be here, or it'll probably be over here, so you need more of a recharge. For me, I don't need that much of a recharge, but I do feel when I drive, it's not that cold. So that little recharge right there will make a big difference. So when you squeeze the trigger, you move the can side to side for every three to five seconds, and you stop to check the gauge. And if you need to put more, then you continue. done take off the port connector put the cap back on and you complete oh and I also forgot make sure when you start this project make sure you be protected with protect the goggles and put uh, fuck it whatever it's too late so if you like today's video give me a thumbs up and subscribe if not just give me a middle finger.